So I joined a server on Rust. I know, I know, totally groundbreaking, right? Boy meets girl, boy builds base, girl goes deep on boy and steals all of his juicy loot. Same old, same old, right? But today, with a slightly different goal in mind. How much can I progress in a few hours, thereby enabling me to be able to do either lots of, or a big, juicy, fat, that's fat with a PH, raid? So. The usual barrel gathering and farming was a must, obviously, as we needed items in order to craft other items. Pretty simple so far, right? Uh, but the highways could only take you so far, those places being hell, the danger zone, etc. This video may contain puns, and I'm going with it. I'm leaning right into that. So I'm on a custom map server, so at this point I thought I'd try my hand at one of the special monuments on there, the Giant Pyramid. Now from what I hear on the grapevine, the loot in here can be pretty darn stunning if you know where to look. So, armed with a YouTube guide to help me out, I fought off the mummy guard in the entryway. That is a lot of loot actually, wow. And headed deeper into the cavernous belly of the proverbial beast. Tasked first with a fork in the road, I initially choose to go right. No science or intuition here, I just kind of fancied it. After falling down a, down a secret cubby hole hidden in a sarcophagus and only marginally breaking my ankles in what can only Ow. be described as my possible worst nightmare, um, I emerge unscathed, collect my first portion of loot, and ascend the walls to freedom. Pretty easy so far, not too bad. Room 2 isn't so easy. Tasked with a mechanical door inside this Egyptian tomb, it's time for some parkour. Following a couple of very near misses of blood splatters, third time's the charm as we ace it pretty quickly. It gets us our first proper hint of decent loot. After we dodge past the booby trap Tesla coils, of course, which are no fun and cause me quite the difficulty. Oh. Medbox, medbox. Oh, that's all you got for me. Not too bad so far, not too bad at all. We do need to be super careful though, I'm out of meds now. The next room I encounter actually requires a teammate to accomplish, something I don't possess right now. Maybe we can tackle this in the future, but not right now. Room 3 is next, and it is a pretty troublesome maze. It takes a few attempts, but luckily there aren't any hidden traps or monsters in here to end my adventure. I slide through pretty unscathed, locate the next stash of loot, which is amazing by the way. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yes. And head on over to the next room. Now the big parkour room is left, and I must say I was dreading this one. Taking one look at it shows me we are most definitely going to require some more meds here. Far from home and just happy with, with what we've got so far. I elect to loot scoot out of there. This is about all the loot we can get playing solo from this place right now anyway, so I think this is the best alternative. While leaving my base and finding some weird Asian sleepers on the ground, I managed to die to a passing player there. It's a shame, I'll give you that, but no skinny off my Jimmy. It's just one small bump in the road. For the next period of time, I just chance my hand at a number of the lower tier monuments available on the server. Right now, I'm essentially on the lookout for some better weaponry and raiding utensils. My plan is to farm the low tier monuments in order to snowball onto perhaps some of the bigger targets, and holy cow, that's a roller coaster! How cool is that? And what is this down that here? That is an amusement park, a theme park, a carnival. Holy crap. Tell you what, the people that come up with this stuff, man, it is insane. Oh, another roller coaster, love it. That is sick. This is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen in Rust. Bravo. Unfortunately, as cool as it was, the fairground didn't possess much. So, home time. Next, I use the diving equipment I found throughout my travels on the roads to loot the sunken cargo ship, and I'm super, super glad I did. We find an incredible semi-rifle, 
and a chunk of incendiary rockets too. The rockets aren't so great, I'll give you that. They'll recycle for some good gunpowder and save on the cooking. The semi-rifle though is going straight in our basket for a cheeky research and craft. So by this point, I farmed up a good amount of sulphur, and the furnaces were blaring out the good stuff. So I took the C4 we found earlier and four of my satchels over to a metal base in the woods. No point not using what we have at this point. One C4 and four satchels later, oh, and once I burned through the TC, slap the door down too. Okay, what do we have in here? Okay. Not top, there are a lot of bags in here. Oh, it's dead. Not top, not great. TC, redeem yourselves. A uh, lot of metal frags, a lot of charcoal. Okay. Uh, Alright, clean all this up and uh, I guess we go again. So, nothing major in there. Shame. That C4 really could have been used elsewhere. Oh well, we go again. And that go again is this small little wood base I found on the road. She ain't much, but the best ones sometimes aren't. I had four satchels and a nearby stash and get to work. We actually over planned on this one, as fortunately some of the doors were already down when we get in. As a fear of dread sets in that this has already been raided, all worry is soon put to rest. Yeah, that's what I thought, okay. door this time. This one looked better. Food. Little victory munch. A couple of red suits, a little bit of high qual. Okay, that looks like a lot of loot and it's not really. That looks like a decent amount of loot. We've got some scrap in there, nothing major. Auto turret if we could mess about with some electricity. Not bad. This though, that 2,000, uh, over 2,000 cooked sulfur is so good. Okay, right, 200 GP as well, a load of high qual. So we can use that with the furnaces that are cooking right now uh, and hopefully push on a little bit further. Yeah, come on. That's a little bit better than the last one, isn't it? Better, much better. But I have an abundance of boom booms and the need to raid something a little more substantial. So I head on over to Millie Tunnels and chance my arm. There could be some good loot in the center cavity if I can get past all the scientists. The early stages are easy work now that we have the semi-rifle and we cut through them like butter. However, we may have perhaps become deceased as a result of a rogue grenade, but no, no matter. We grab the loot in the end on our return and it is god awful in the scheme of things. Maybe we try again later, we'll see. Hmm. So low cost, very low profit raiding later, and my patience is well and truly tested. But it's all for all part and parcel of the cause. Oh yeah, that's the one. After countless hours, minutes, maybe even days, time is relative to me now. Crafting is completed, and I'm in search of a base to raid, and I stumble upon this beauty right here. Next to Ulrich, she could be the one. 
I actually brought 10 satchels because I thought I'll go through one of the back walls. But with your often severe comments ringing true in my head. That's a boat section then. The doors prove a more attractive proposition this time. I really need this to pay off, like, this needs to be profitable. Poor placement. I brought ten. Oh, that's poor. That was a poor, poor throw. I got it though? Yes, I did. Let's go. Okay, so that's the boat in the back. Well, we went right earlier, so. Come on, TC. Okay. No fucking TC. Damn. Woo, take that though. All day. All day. Sulfur out the fucking ass. Let's go. Okay. We have to get in that door. We have to. It's going to take me a hot minute to skip home, grab the stuff. Come back, craft four satchels, that's fine. Wait till morning, we're all fine. We're all friends. Fuck. That's fine. This is what we prepare for. Whoa! Don't lag me around like that game. My game be lagging all over the shop. As you probably would have guessed, that lag caused me to misthrow that satchel. Uh, and me to die. So, gotta go make another one. Alright, let's go once bloody more unto the breach okay I spy with my little lie someone's TC Jiminy Jillicas 382 scrap not too bad fuses a little bit of crap Ooh, guns. A thousand low grade. Let's go. That's what we wanted. That's what I thought there could be in here. Living next to oil rig. I won't lie, I was hoping for more. And that is not great. Ooh. Pat on the backs all round. Clearly a, group, clearly a group of three as well. All in all, an amazing day had by me. And great fun too. Snowballing from nothing to something on an interesting and extremely fun server is awesome. It was very quiet this week, I'll give you that, but I'm hoping it'll fill up a bit more now the holidays are over. I'll drop the details of the server in the description if you guys want to check it out. It's the one I played on last wipe too. You can come and find me on there hopefully at, at the wipe. Um, it'll be a hoot. And while I have you, what did you think to this new starter video? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments, or just drop a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel and shows me you want to see some more. I'll be hopping on here a lot more soon now that I have the necessary BPs, and we can hopefully push on for a rocket raid in this style soon too. Anyways, I digress. My pin tills, and I'll see you very soon. Have a great day, guys. Peace out. Scary thoughts, I got scary thoughts. Lost control, now I'm taking charge. Breaking bills, friends breaking off. You could be the youngest, I'm the d d Kiss the ring, nah. In the scene like GOT. Stay awake, don't sleep. Like Jon Snow, get RIP.